I'm going to rank all 50 states from worst to best. For the rankings, I used three inputs. My personal ranking system, which takes into account seven factors, including crime, schools, cost of living, and jobs. I googled other state rankings, published by reputable sources, and factored in their opinions. And I used my own personal first-hand experience. I've been to all but six states. Then I fed all the data into a big, giant computer, and I had these nerds crunch all the information for me. They were expensive. I found them on Upwork. We're going to run through these fast because if I didn't, we'd be here all day and nobody wants that. I can only hear myself talk for so long, so I get it. Plus, these guys cost like $150 an hour each. One, two, three, let's go. We begin our worst to best state rankings in... Sorry, New Mexico. That's just how it's got to be. You rank last best. Property crimes here are the highest in the country and people are the fifth poorest. Not that there's anything wrong with poor people, but this state is just so basic. It's pretty here, though. West Virginia is pretty, too. But man, times are tough. They rank last in economy and infrastructure. And there's nothing to do here. At all. Arkansas is also poor, and there aren't a ton of jobs here. Except at Walmart, I guess, which is just part of the life here. Home prices are the third lowest in the country, and there's a reason why. However, apparently Arkansarians are the 10th happiest people in the country. Stay that way, Arkansas. Okay, I think we're going to be in the South a lot at the beginning of this video. Mississippi's the poorest state, and one in three residents here don't even know how to spell Mississippi. It's unbearable here in the summer. And who eats catfish? Not me. Right next door is Mississippi's slightly more successful younger brother. Jobs are increasing in Alabama, though, so that's good. More people go to church here than in any other state, so maybe they can pray to move up the list. Actually, they probably don't even care. Oh no, Oklahoma, say it isn't so. You knew the state was coming up sooner or later, right? Hey, Oklahoma ladies, you have no room to complain. You have the most women in prison per capita than any other state. And, I learned, Oklahoma residents eat the least number of fruits and veggies, and that is just so irresponsible of you. So the people in the small towns of Louisiana are the most genuine and giving people I think I've ever met. However, their state ranks in the bottom 10 on 8 of 11 categories from my own personal ranking system. If I had measured gross things to put crawfish in, Louisiana would have ranked even worse. Also ranking poorly is Missouri, which some people here call misery, and for what reason I can only speculate. High crime, poor health, poor people. One leading news organization said Missouri ranks dead last for quality of life, and that is just mean. Does this factor in all the crime in St. Louis? Yes, it does, Mappy. And that's a dumb hat. Now, if you live in Ohio, you either love it or hate it, but you'll say that you love it. Jobs here continue to leave, as do residents. Ohio ranks 10th worst for business opportunities. All of Ohio's largest cities except Columbus are terrible for crime, poverty, and drugs. Just terrible. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You may not know it, but South Carolina is the fifth most dangerous state in the country when you measure property and violent crimes. However, on the bright side, South Carolina ranks ninth for percentage growth, meaning people are moving here more than, well, 41 other states, I guess. Okay, let's take a break. Those are our bottom 10. There shouldn't be any surprises, right? If there are, I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments below. Let's crunch the numbers on the next 10 states to see what we get. Our next round kicks off in Delaware. Poor Delaware. But what are you going to do? Fight somebody? Speaking of fighting, sure, Washington has a great economy and tons of tech jobs, and they care about the environment, and it's pretty. But Seattle is an absolute mess, which is sad because it used to be such a great city. If you can fix Seattle, Washington's in the top five for sure. People in Kentucky are the sixth poorest and live the third shortest lifespans. Both of these are directly correlated with one another. It's also the fifth least educated state, and more people die from smoking than anywhere else, and those are directly correlated with one another. Tennessee's capital, Nashville, is booming. Its second biggest city, Memphis, is booming too, but those are gunshots. Lots of people here are obese, smoke, and are just generally unhealthy, and should think about how to improve their health, and no, I'm not a doctor. The economy of Pennsylvania has struggled since coal and steel aren't as popular as they once were. Pittsburgh's been a bright spot among the Rust Belt members of the family. 
Philadelphia has been rocked by poverty, crime, drugs, and corruption since like forever ago. There's always mushrooms, apples, milk, and grapes. Not that they eat a lot of that here. Of course they eat cheesesteaks. No, those are Pennsylvania's best agricultural outputs. Alaska is the most dangerous state in the country, ranking first for violent crimes and second for property crimes. Alaska also has the most gun owners per capita. Alaska also has the most bear attacks per capita. You think the criminals and bears would stay away, but alas, ka. Georgia's pretty much Atlanta and the rest of the state. Atlanta's a terrible place filled with crime and traffic, unless you're a rich white person in the suburbs, but that's not Atlanta. The rest of the state is camouflage and trucks. Nevada's pretty much Las Vegas and the rest of the state. Las Vegas is a terrible place filled with crime and casinos, unless you're a rich white person in the suburbs, but that's not Vegas. The rest of the state is just sand. There's a reason Illinois ranks fourth in the country for people leaving it, mostly because of Chicago drama. The rest of the state isn't too impressive either, and they're probably bored. Likely. Maybe. All my girlfriends are in Chi-Town. <laughs> you don't know people in Chicago. Shut up, woman. South Dakota is better than Illinois. According to the data, it is. And the numbers scream average with a capital A. South Dakota also ranks third in fiscal stability and second in natural environment, which means there's hardly any pollution here at all. Bye, South Dakota. Okay, so that's our sort of bad states, but not worst states list. If your state's on that list, then your state's kind of bad, but not really bad. We continue. These guys are really working hard here to bring us our next 10 states. Man, do these guys have any other hobbies or what? Now, I've never been to Wyoming, so it wouldn't be fair for me to speculate on exactly what it's like to live here. All the data seems to agree that Wyoming is the 30th best state. And who's going to argue with that? Alternatively, Indiana's a state I know really well. The data says Indiana's average, and after living there for five years, I'd agree. The people here are hard workers. They steal from one another. And Walmart is the only form of entertainment for like 90% of the population, and that is just sad. Rhode Island the smallest state. It has the least pollution in the country and the fifth best health care. What can you say bad about little Rhode Island? Even their flag is cute and non-threatening. Hope. Hope. Nearby is New York. Ask anybody in New York if they think their state should be the 27th best state. You'll hear two opinions. We should be last or we should be first. New York City's average. Upstate is below average. A very popular destination for people looking to get away from their terribly managed states. Arizona has an average unemployment rate, average poverty levels, and below average schools. But it's pretty here, and there's far worse places for weather, I guess. Like Arizona, Oregon's population is increasing rapidly, and as a result, the cost of living is also increasing rapidly. And like Arizona, everything about Oregon is just average, except the public schools, which aren't. This state has perhaps the prettiest coastline in the nation, so that's cool. Speaking of average, Kansas is just about as average as you can get. That's why it's right in the middle. And of course, there are environmentalists in Kansas. Because in case you didn't know, it's illegal to hunt whales here. And I'm not kidding about that. That's actually a state law. California? What? Only the 23rd best state. Two other websites ranked California 14th and 19th, but my personal experience has it much lower. I mean, I could have ranked them last, but that wouldn't be very nice of me, would it? I mean, California does have the best economy, so that wouldn't have been fair at all. I love LA. LA's dumb, and so are you. North Dakota is better than California? Yes, it is. I've been there like three times. People there are true blue, and there's very little drama up here. As long as the oil keeps flowing, the economy will remain strong and people will keep flocking there. Turn the oil off and this state has some trouble ahead. Another oil-friendly state is Texas. Everybody wants to move to Texas. There's a ton of jobs here, but Texas has a lot to deal with, with poverty and education and crime. But it's relatively inexpensive still and folks are friendly and they love football, so that's okay with me. Okay, so those were our not-so-good, not-so-bad states. Were you on it? If so, consider yourself average. Let's move on and pick things up at number 20. Why are these guys all wearing the same clothes anyway? Is that like a data analyst thing or what? Hey, Montana, it's pretty, quiet, and kind of boring. You only really need one sentence to sum up this fine state. 
and I just gave it two. A very wealthy state, Connecticut is definitely the haves and the have-nots. There's a large, educated, wealthy population, and then you have cities like Hartford, Waterbury, New Haven, and Bridgeport, where communities are straight up struggling. A lot of people are leaving Connecticut, and you can understand why when you read very long articles about how Connecticut's economy is in shambles. This will be controversial. Minnesota people are really smart and the economy here is growing. It's actually super affordable. 60% of the population lives in the Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area, which have both seen their fair share of drama lately. It's an outdoors paradise here. Not that a lot of Americans actually get outside and see nature anymore. Now, Maryland ranked in the top 10 on every single publication I cited, but I've been to Baltimore and I've seen Maryland's backwoods and neither of those justified a top 10 ranking. Okay, so I never actually drove through really fancy communities, but come on, look at this place. Iowa, aw. Everything about Iowa is good, not great. The unemployment rate here is lower than most other states. Iowa City and Des Moines are places people are moving to to start their families. Plus, Iowa didn't do anything wrong to anyone, like, ever. Hawaii has a lot going for it. It's a really healthy state with a good economy and pretty good crime numbers. Of course, it's really pretty. But apparently, after asking around, I discovered the traffic here is bad and you're forced to listen to Adele and reggae on the radio all day. And it costs like $10 for a gallon of milk. Outside of some terrible, terrible places to live, as a whole, Michigan's great. Now, the major news organizations all had Michigan in the 25-ish range, but I've spent a lot of time in Michigan and, well, I like it a lot. But clearly, there are some things Michigan needs to figure out. Is it because of me? No. Never. Yeah. Idaho, a state we've talked about a lot on this channel. This is the new flavor of the month for everybody west of the Rockies. It's all the rage for a reason. It's affordable, the sun shines a lot, and crime is far lower than most of America. And another fun fact, Idaho has twice as many mobile homes per capita than any other state. Here's a song I wrote about Wisconsin. Not the whole song, but part of it. Cheese and cows and bratwurst, funny accents, blizzards. Cheese and cows and bratwurst, funny accents, blizzards. Beer and brats and pretzels, Packers fans and dumb hats. Beer and brats and pretzels, Packers fans and dumb hats. Love them or hate them, New Jerseyites live in a pretty cool spot. The very boring reasons the computers rank New Jersey so high. The poverty rate here is the fifth lowest in the U.S. People live the sixth longest. And a lot of people have solid educations and earn great salaries. It's the most densely populated place in the country, though. There's 1,200 people per square mile here. That's more than Puerto Rico. And by the way, Alaska has one person per square mile. Camden sucks, though. No. Okay, the suspense is building. If your state hasn't been mentioned yet, then you live in one of the 10 best states to live. But before we get to the final 10, let's go to our sponsor. This video brought to you by Mike's Barbecue on Route 32 in Tallahassee. Come on down, we got some great food. That's Mike's Barbecue. Our 10th best state to live is Florida. The sunny state ranks in the top five for its economy and its education. It's a big deal for tourism. It's about middle of the road for crime. Florida's just all over the place. It's first in random categories and then last in others. One study said Florida's last in senior safety, and that is just terrible. This is Mike at Mike's Barbecue again. Did I mention that we got gator? We got some good gator. Come down and try our gator, and we will throw in some hush puppies. That's Mike's Barbecue on Route 32 in Tallahassee. In case you didn't know it, Omaha is becoming the Silicon Valley of the Midwest. They call it the Silicon Prairie. Tech jobs and innovation are pouring into Nebraska as companies as far away as California are relocating here due to Nebraska's absurdly low cost of living and crime numbers. Don't knock it till you try it, America. Not too far away, okay, maybe 1,200 miles, is the Commonwealth of Virginia, which ranks on every top 10 list I could find, including my own. The area around DC is one of the wealthiest, most successful places in America. But Virginia is not just Southern sympathizers anymore. It's growing up right before our eyes as a place for innovation and progressive values. North Carolina. Okay, this might be a little biased. I mean, this is my home state. While every other website ranked my home state as average, I've spent a lot of time traveling and this is the prettiest place in the country. 
Jobs are pouring in, as are people. Sure, there's rednecks everywhere, but come on, they're not hurting anybody. If you don't agree, then just end the video right now. You've already watched like 95% of it anyways, including all the ads, so I don't care if you stop now. Massachusetts is number six. Now part of that's because nearly half the population has a college degree and they have good jobs and a good diet and they always wear their seatbelts and drink their milk too, I bet. Okay, so there's five states left and according to this computer, Vermont is the fifth best state to live in. If you live in Vermont, you know, this is a gem of a place. Vermont ranks high in all the boring categories that data nerds love. Stuff like health outcomes for seniors and GDP and infrastructure and education and fiscal stability. Utah? You probably weren't waiting for Utah to come up. You probably didn't even remember Utah was left. Maine? You probably weren't waiting for Maine to come up. You probably didn't even remember Maine was left. Okay, so we have two states left. If you're paying attention, you'd know which states those are. If you're not paying attention, I understand. This has been a marathon and you probably want to tune me out at this point. So which states are second best to live in? New Hampshire is. That means Colorado is the best state in the USA. Good for you, Colorado. Colorado people are like, oh, hell no. We don't need any more good publicity. Colorado consistently ranks as the healthiest state. The poverty rate's low. The sun's out all the time. It's almost the prettiest state right after North Carolina. It's still sort of affordable, and the state has great health care. There's a reason everyone's moving here. Hopefully the rest of us don't ruin it, but it might be too late. And regarding New Hampshire, while the kids in New Hampshire are probably bored, the numbers don't lie. There's less people in poverty here or without jobs than anywhere else in the country. People are mostly healthy, except those who are not. New Hampshire is also ranked as the safest state by more than one website that gets a lot of traffic. So that is it, our top to bottom, worst to best state list. Now, a lot of this is based on things that great leadership can control and fix. Hopefully, a lot of the things I talked about in many of these states can get solved through a series of leadership and policy changes. Hopefully, a lot of the things we addressed in many of these states can get solved through a change in leadership and policies. Wouldn't it be great if we had a 50-way tie for the best states? Now run along. There's probably another YouTube video you can watch. Tell your friends. Unless you live in New Mexico, then don't tell your friends. Now some really bad singing. Move to Wisconsin and you'll hate it. There's a lot of boring stuff. Not a lot of fun. Move to Wisconsin and you'll hate it. There's a lot of boring stuff. Not a lot of fun. Their quarterback has a funny mustache. There's a lot of Brewers fans too. People here wear tiny shorts and they have a lot of pretty lakes and it's cold. Everybody here ice fishes. If you wanna come, then you better not forget your pole. Everybody here ice fishes. If you wanna come, then you better not forget your pole. Everybody here ice fishes. If you wanna come, then you better not forget your pole. Everybody here ice fishes. If you wanna come, then you better not forget your pole. Bam! Bam! Wisconsin! Bam! Wisconsin! Bam! Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just like this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America.